Like a guitar, piano, it's not acceptable in Islam. Go to any sheikh, ask any imam. Well, there is no sheikh, there is no imam. Isn't there an ayah that says there's no authority? It's there is no sheikh, there is no imam. Listen, anyone who has a higher authority than you are. Instead of Worshipping Allah SWT, do the death care of Allah, you're listening to nonsense. Music is a nonsense, brother. It's nothing but a nonsense. Banging the, 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 the thing is nothing but nonsense. You all know that. Doesn't mean whatever please you is good. This one's called Sharia Law the USA. I stopped trying to define punk around the same time I stopped trying to define Islam. They aren't so far removed as you'd think. Both began in tremendous bursts of truth and vitality, but seemed to have lost something along the way. The energy, perhaps, that comes with knowing the world has never seen such positive force and fury, and never would again. Both have suffered from sellouts and hypocrites, but also from true believers whose devotion had crippled their creative drive. Both are viewed by outsiders as unified, cohesive communities when nothing can be further from the truth. I could go on, but the most important similarity is that like punk, as mentioned above, Islam is itself a flag, an open symbol representing not things, but ideas. You cannot hold punk or Islam in your hands. So what could they mean besides what you want them to?